Hi everybody. How y'all doing? We're going to be replacing a uh, tine seal in this uh, 2004 Super Bronco. It's got uh, six horsepower overhead valve, Briggs and Stratton on it. And uh, we're going to give it a whirl. And uh, I'll show you right here. I replaced the other one last year. But it's leaking pretty good. I mean, it's not that bad, but she's still in grease. All over the tines, oh yeah. And I got one here, so might as well go ahead and replace it. So that's what she looks like. And I'll show you step by step what I'm going to do. All right, y'all hold on now. All right. It's a 9 sixteenths wrench. I got a, uh, I have a, my extension on there, get away from them times. There she is on there. Need a nut on there. I'll take a hammer and I'll hit it through. Just to loosen that. Stuff out of the way. Alright. Get the nut rust way off. combination wrench. Let her wash this thing off before I started working on it. Alright. Get the ratchet off. Get out the rest of the way. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Righty tighty. She is down on there. I had to get my wheel. I had to get my pullers to get that off there. Be right back. Okay, y'all got my pullers my pullers on there. If y'all can see that. I put a three quarter inch deep well socket down in there. Yeah, we're gonna give her a heck. Alright. 
Let's see what she'll do. I got my Carolina do it all wrench. One more crescent wrench. It's your proper name for it, adjustable wrench. She is on there, y'all. I even put some grease in there. Some WD-40. Tap the hammer, see what she does. Okay, on the puller, it's a three-quarter inch socket inside there on this model, particular model. I got the puller in there now. I'm going to put some air to it. All right, let's see if we can get her off. This, this tank never, it has never been off, so we're going to give it a shot. And this is all, well, it don't matter about the side, but pull, puller. Start take, taking that seal out. And the seal, if y'all can see, is right there. That's the one we got to replace. And she's a bear getting out, but once we get it out, you know, it won't be the problem. All right. Bear with me. Okay, y'all. The seal on this is right here. And that's the numbers. Let me get that flatter. 921-04036. Uh, seal oil. And uh, if you look it up on your machine, uh, this is a Super Bonker 2004. If you look it up on your machine, you get the right seal, which you need. But I'm going to show you why it's a dog to get out. Because this is what you got right here. And I'm going to show you a little trick to that, too. I'm going to put her, I'm going to show you a little trick. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I got to get out of there. All right, let's commence. And I use a screwdriver, a sharp point screwdriver. 
and put my gloves on. I, I clean off the axle a little bit. Put some W40. Or you can use carburetor cleaner, whatever you want. But let's see. If we're getting, make sure you don't damage the housing or the uh, shaft when you're doing this. Let's see. There we go. I hope my big old body don't get in the way. All right. Takes a little bit of time. I don't have a cameraman, so bear with me. Secret, y'all. I did take all the from high school at Botech school for two years, three periods a day. ESC certified, which probably don't mean a whole lot nowadays. And that was back in the 80s. I started in 87, right when fuel injection was getting real heavy. So I worked on both fuel injection and car wrecks. But y'all get the idea what I'm doing. I uh try to pry that metal out there. All right, well, let me get a little farther on this thing and I'll come back. All right, as you can see. I'm getting some of it out of there. I'll take a pair of vice grips, grab a hold of it. It's an ongoing process. I'll take my screwdriver and uh, pry it out as I go. It's a job. Keep on working it around, working it. Keep on working. Head's got to be in the way. But I 
Did y'all see where I'm going? It's coming out. And the sad thing about it is, y'all, this is the only part of it. You gotta get the inside out. <laughs> but I'll be back when I get the rest of it out. Oh, that's kind of take these old gloves off. Yeah, that's part of it right there. So let me pry away and get the rest of it. All right. All right, I've got two screwdrivers in there prying that thing out. And this is the hardest part, besides getting the fan off. But I'll get a pair of snips, wire cutters. Yeah, that's not gonna work either. But she is coming right along. She's slowly coming. All right, I'll be back. I'm look. We're still working on it. All right. Now we're now we're going to the inner seal, which we're trying to get out, and it's coming along pretty good. Uh, if you look up close, I still got some metal around the edge that I got to get all that out. But well, watch this. I'm gonna slide that piece right off of there. I try to. Get my big old. All right. Hope y'all can see this. It's been leaking for a while, but you know, you can add more oil, this and that, but there we go. Slide it, slide, slide right off there. And that's that part looks like. And here's the inner like spring, it was inside the, uh, yeah, it's a spring, it was inside the, uh, the actual seal itself. And now I've got to finish getting that metal out of there right here um it's a bear too but we'll get it out um, bear with me you gotta take it bend it in yeah there we go take it bend it in like so You can almost buy a whole brand new toilet, especially nowadays. I mean, you know, but I believe in working on what I got if I can, and I got a little bit of knowledge where I can work on stuff. It helps save you a lot of money down, down the road. Well, that's the glorious thing about YouTube. If you don't know how to do something, you can find out how to do it, that's for sure. I watched another guy on here. I think it's 65 Ford. Uh, he, that's a good channel. And it's spelt, you know, as the word 65 Ford. And I'm gonna watch this video over and over again. Man, it really helped me out. Uh, the do's and don'ts. But I'm not gonna bore y'all with that. I'm gonna Anyway, this metal's gonna come out of here. That's part of the original seal. And uh, you just gotta be careful. And you gotta pry it out of there. Uh, but nowadays, this is the truth. Y'all remember this when I tell you this. 
The uh, if I hear a young person nowadays saying, I don't know how to do that, or even an adult, I mean, you know, an old adult like myself, go on YouTube, you can figure out how to do it. Google it. You can find out how to do it. There ain't no excuse nowadays. I mean, before my day, we had to go to, to the library, or uh, if you want to find something, you go to the library, got an encyclopedia out. Or you learn from your, your dad or your grandpa. Well, that's not too many people now know how to do things nowadays, so I try to pass on what I know, know a little bit about. I'll come back when I get the rest of that cleaned out. But y'all see what I'm trying to do, get that metal out of there. That's part of the original uh, seal housing. The seal itself, the metal part. All right, I'll be back shortly. Okay, we're still working on it, but I think I got it coming out. I can take my plier, my screwdriver, my hammer, and hit it. There you go. I spun it. So now that's out. Woo! Thank goodness. And I like to use a W40 to clean out my stuff with. Not like car bear cleaner or nothing like that. Let's see here. Let's get a, okay. See a key in there. W40 right actually is a good degreaser. Alright. So now we're gonna take some sandpaper, clean that bad boy up. Uh here's some Emily paper. And I'll, I'll show y'all what I got to do on that. But that's what she looks like. Let's get you, I'll show you what it looks like inside. Okay, y'all, this is what she looks like inside right here. You know, pretty clean. I'm going to clean her up. There's some inlay paper. And here's an old bearing right here. I mean, old seal, excuse me. That's part of it right there. That's the other, that's the rubber, rubber part, the inner seal. And that's the metal housing that held the seal together. And it's a spring also. All right. We'll get back here shortly. I'll, I'll show you how to clean, clean that thing up pretty good. All right. That shaft um, with sandpaper. All right. Okay, y'all, this is Kenny here. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you what I'm, a little trick I'll use to do. First of all, I'm opening out, opening out of the package. All right, might as well open up pretty much so. All right, there we go. Put a little grease on it, on the seal. Got my grease, my little grease gun right here. Got the package. All right. Got some grease right here. I'm gonna grease the seal. Put some grease on the inner side, outer side, inside, all that kind of stuff. A little bit goes a long ways. All right. All right, grease that fitting up. Right, I get a little more. This is gonna help you when you install it. about 70 degrees outside right now so what I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do I'll say I got a good coat of grease inside there in and around there and on the outside so it'd be a good fit I'm gonna put it back in the bag as you see right here back in the bag 
I guess I'm going to go with it next. I am going to put that thing in the deep freeze. And that way I'll help it contract and make an easy fit around that shaft. And then go one side to house it. All right. I'm going to put it in deep freeze for a while. While I'm sanding down that, uh, uh, right here. That will help because metal will uh, expand. Metal will expand and uh, and shrink uh, or decrease uh, when it gets cold or hot, you know, just like wood or anything else or people. So that's a little trick I learned over the years. Whoa! Got an other guy. But anyway, y'all, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna take and uh, put it in the freezer for a while, and then I'm gonna uh, do the shaft with sandpaper, and we'll get back on the on the shaft here in a second. All right. All right, we're gonna take the seal inside around the shaft. I'm gonna blow it out, get all the trash and debris out of, out around there. It's pretty clean. I think it's just old, worn out. There wasn't nothing behind it. I could, I could probably add a little, but I already had the seal, like I say. So, Shaft one more time. We're cleaned out. Check for scarring from the screwdriver and all good jump. Clean it off pretty good. And now I'll take our sandpaper. Sit down for this. Try to get up in there as much as you can. And then go back around. Just 
Wait, you get, you get all the way around. Oh yeah, that's that is slick. Get up in here a little more. I'm trying to get that paper, emery paper up in there. Emery cloth, excuse me. That's pretty clean. That's as clean as a baby's butt. All right. Now after we do that, I'm trying to be lazy, but uh, let me see here. I'm gonna take my air gun, get all that granulars off the sandpaper off. Wipe it down again with red paper towel, shop towel. What do we got? Just get it clean. All right. So there she is, nice and shiny. All right. Yeah, like I said before. And I'll say it again. Uh, people say, a lot of people say, uh, I hear people, I don't know how to do this. Or younger generation, go on the computer. Computer is, can be a bad thing or it can be a good thing. For learning, it's a great thing, great tool to have. All right, I'm going to go out here and clean this uh, uh, tying up. All right, camera cut off on me. I guess the battery's getting low. But. That's my phone ringing too. Sure, everybody. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna grease the shaft up. Wipe it down one more time. Make sure there's no granules or nothing on there. Rock and roll. All right, come back, we'll put the seal on there. Okay, folks, I got the, uh, the seal out of the freezer. So I'm going to slip it right on top, over top of there. Now I got a piece of pipe that I'm going to help install it on it. She wants to go in there square. Camera still working. Uh, yep. 
Still filming. Good job. Okay. Alright, she's square. Next piece of pipe. Right here, same diameter. Slide her on there like that. Tap it on, tap it on there. She is in there. There we go. Let's see what we got so far. All right. Y'all saw all that on video. All right, be right back. Okay. Now we got that installed. Now all we got to do now is put on our rear tine which you see there and we're done and put a little more oil on it I'm using 85-140 or it's dash 140-85 all right I want to thank y'all for watching this video y'all got any comments or questions give me a holler and uh, I'm around 24 7 just question, question me comment me and I can help you out. Anyway, this is KVSMC. I want to thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe. God bless the Semper Fi. All right now, y'all take care. Bye-bye.